Hello friends. In this video, we are with our friend Mahantesh Khetri, who is doing his PhD in experimental condensed matter physics under the Department of Physics, IIT Delhi. In this video, he is going to share his research experience and his precious suggestions to the students who are willing to do their research in experimental condensed matter physics. So, Muntu, how are you? Welcome to our channel first. And uh, what's going on? Hi, uh, hi guys. Uh, I'm good. Uh, uh, nothing much. How are you guys? And uh... yes, we are also fine. So my first question to you that why you have chosen this field, this particular field of condensed matter physics for your research? Uh, well. Uh... Actually, condensed matter physics is a really interesting subject, uh, particularly experimental condensed matter physics is the one that uh, uh, people do uh, have fun while doing this uh, uh, experiments and all. Uh, particularly in my case, uh, it was uh, my dream to uh, do such experiments from the childhood itself. During even school days also, I used to do lots of uh, experiment uh, in the in home by myself. I used to like enjoy these kinds of stuff. So later, uh, I was not aware that this is uh, related to physics and all. Uh, for example, I used to have so many questions like how electricity is generated, how uh, like bulb glows, and uh, any uh, like you know, if I see any machine, then I used to go mad like uh, how this is working. These kind of questions were always used to be there in my mind. Uh, later, I realized that uh, realized that uh, all these kinds of questions are related to physics uh, when I was in high school. Then I thought like I should go, I should study this in uh, uh, in depth. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, doing all these experiments. So uh, later uh, in during even like my higher studies also, when I came to know uh, like you know uh, when I started doing research uh, in condensed matter physics, uh, particularly this experimental condensed matter physics, then uh, there are even uh, there uh, like there are other reasons as well because. If we consider like even in 20th century, uh, we have uh, increased our understanding, uh, a lot of our understanding about the material system in order to develop new technologies. So it is always uh, like, you know, ever increasing demand from uh, uh, the human race uh, to develop new technologies. Uh, if we compare the uh, last century with present century, uh, like uh, people don't uh, believe the, from the last people from last century, like if you consider 19th or 20th century, uh, early 20th century, people do not believe if they come uh, time travel to this 21st century, what, what is the technological advancements? So these technological advancements are uh, mainly because of uh, the, the developments in uh, 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 condensed matter physics. So presently condensed matter physics, because of these reasons, is uh, uh, highly uh, demand, uh, like, you know, interesting and as well as uh, there is a need of the hour to work in this field. So that's why I choose condensed matter physics. Okay, what kind of research problems can a student expect in this field? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, the experimental condensed matter physics is itself a big topic. Uh, there are uh, several uh, research areas in this. Uh, uh, for example, like uh, uh, I, I just talk about uh, my work and uh, what is going in uh, in my lab. So particularly, I'm working on uh, uh, materials called quantum materials. Uh, uh, this includes the uh, uh, various materials. This is a vast family of materials. We uh, put this in an, an umbrella term quantum, uh, an umbrella term called as quantum materials. So basically, what quantum material means is that uh, 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 the electronic properties of these solids uh, is not cannot be explained properly uh, using just semi uh, classical approach or some low level of quantum mechanics. That is why we call it these as quantum materials. Uh, particularly, I work in uh, materials like topological insulators, uh, Dirac and wild semi-metal, two-dimensional materials. Uh, one must uh, heard about uh, graphene. Uh, so in 2003, what happened is that uh, some researchers uh, were able to extract single layer of uh, uh, single layer of carbon atoms from graphite. Graphite is well-known uh, material. Every day we use in our C pencils and all. So uh, that was a remarkable advancement in the science because uh, that uh, 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 gave us the scientists or the researchers to explore uh, the uh, fundamentals of physics in lower dimensions. Let me put it in another way also. Uh, just like uh, quantum mechanics is a fundamental uh, theory that explains uh, pretty much everything that uh, physical phenomena that is uh, that are happening around us. 
this is basically based on the uh, simple equation called i mean basic equation not simple basic equation called schrodinger equation uh, that uh, remarkably explains uh, uh, everything about electronic uh, properties but if you consider the particle that are moving uh, very close to the speed of light or uh, compatible to, uh, to that of speed of light then we have to incorporate that special theory of uh, relativity from einstein so this was pretty much accomplished by a, a physicist called uh, uh, Paul Dirac in 1930s and uh, mostly like we know uh, uh, everyone thinks or uh, like uh, his general thought is that these uh, the, the the particles that travels uh, and possesses these kind of uh, properties are from the realm of uh, high energy physics but uh, recent discoveries and uh, uh, recent discoveries of uh, various material system uh, made uh, uh, or gave the access to uh, these kinds of properties uh, in uh, lower dimensions for example uh, the electron so suppose like uh, we as i said uh, the particles from high energy physics uh, the pop, uh, those particles uh, are just like massless particles so what happens if these particles are charged particles this is a fundamental question how they conduct how would they conduct electricity or what are the uh, extra uh, additional uh, properties that uh, or physical uh, phenomena that we can expect from this system so these were the fundamental questions uh, uh, like we uh, we are trying to get answers uh, to such questions because it is possible to hypothetical uh, you know not hypothetically it is possible to create such system in condensed matter system itself so those hypothetical questions are uh, now uh, trying to be an answered from uh, uh, the work that we are doing yes okay. really exciting and uh, fascinating uh, that you are doing so i hope you will produce lot more valuable research paper in this journey of your uh, research so all the best for your future as well so my next question to you that if a bachelor or master students try or are willing to do research in condensed matter physics whether theoretically or experimentally how do they proceed okay uh, well i think that uh, 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 from my general experience as well as my personal experience uh, i interacted uh, uh, with uh, several of, uh, with my most of friends for some of them it doesn't matter like which field they are working on after uh, they start working in that field they will uh, uh, themselves determine uh, i don't know uh, dedicate themselves to that field and start working uh, with their interest so it doesn't matter for them like what they have done in uh, their bachelors or masters because most of the research topic for a masters or particularly bachelor student is new like nothing like there are no research topics that are, that are very much familiar to uh, these students and second category of students they are very much you know uh, from beginning they are pre planned i i'm going i'm going to work in this field i'm going to do this research particular research so these this is second category of material uh, second category of people so uh, for first category it's not a big deal because uh, they are ready they, they they just want physics whatever the physics they are ready to accept and second category of people i'm just going to give some uh, additional suggestions uh, do not pre plan everything like i am going to do these thing only it's your chance during your masters degree uh, do research or uh, you know uh, read about various topics it's not necessarily like you have to choose a particular topic maybe it's experimental or theoretical topic in my case also what i did was uh, while i was doing my masters i did my masters thesis in theoretical physics high energy physics and my internship in experimental condensed matter physics so this gives us uh, additional benefit to analyze ourselves which one is more suitable for me nothing is bad but it the question is which one is more suitable for me to work which is my like you know uh, there is some hidden uh, interest in our brain so we need to uh, you know uh, catch them and we have to progress otherwise what happens is that at one point of time in your future you think that uh, Uh, i should have done something else so that kind of doubts or that kind of regret should never uh, stay with you so make your decisions wisely and uh, another suggestion i would like to give is that uh, just no need to go through all the topics entirely like you know uh, in depth 
at this moment of time uh, at least uh, come to, uh, read about uh, new research fields new research topics at least uh, get familiar with the terminologies what they are may, uh, uh, mean by and what kind of work is going on there that is sufficient because uh, once you enter into uh, the research field uh, while uh, you are in phd you will you will get a chance uh, uh, to go in depth about that but uh, if you at least uh, you know uh, familiar with the terminologies then your life will become uh, pretty much easier uh, because since your brain is already know uh, such stuff that they are not new to you once you you are uh, familiar with that yes definitely thank you mohantesh for giving this wonderful suggestions and your experience towards the research that how the students would proceed and understand that what is their passion or how much they are capable of doing research and also in which field they should proceed and they will uh, increase their interest so thank you so much for sharing this valuable information to all of the students and followers in our channel and we highly recommend you to also uh, please share this to your friends and followers who are willing to do research in condensed matter physics and in any branch of physics because the overall design or the schematic representation is almost same for every field of research whether it is in theory or experiment or in physics or chemistry or anywhere else so yes, once sir. again we thank uh, thanks a lot for coming and sharing your information thank you friends for watching this video hope this video will be very much helpful for you to do research and to proceed in the field of research and please like this video share with your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you